I will never do them any longer. Having done all that, there are other rights he has to perform, which we cannot discuss here. Those are traditional rights that he has to perform. However, leading to his speaking of, of name, having done most of all these, he will now, they will now blindfold him. They will blindfold him. While being blindfolded, they, are, they, they, they line up a number of swords. Scepters among them, yeah. which we call a bearing. Mm -hmm. They will all be lined up. All these swords and scepters that have been lined up, they have all been named except one. Okay. Only one will be left unnamed. So you are going to have how many on, on the whole? 21. You are going to have 21. Okay. Meaning the 20 pass or lose and one that has no name. So if he picks from any of the 20 or lose, he automatically picks that name. That while being blindfolded, you, that is the name, uh, the throne name, that's what we call the throne name, that he will now answer throughout his reign and rule in the kingdom. He doesn't get to see it, he's blindfolded he's the blindfolded, whole time. So he doesn't know what he's yes. picking. He oh, so he just picks one. He just, he just goes there and he, he, he can move from beginning to the end and decide to say, okay, where, which one will I pick? And he can just held on to one. Do you mind if I ask you if the one that is not named it is placed at either of the tail ends of the arrangement of the swords mm -hmm. or it could be placed at the middle? Anywhere. Could be placed it anywhere. It could be placed anywhere. There is no specific or particular place that that unnamed sword is placed. It is placed anywhere because they are mixed. Yeah. They are mixed. And the, the, the swords of the past or loose were not also arranged according to how they reigned. No. They just place them there, mix them up. So it is not left for him to now pick any of those ones. So if he picks any one and he happens to pick the one that was unnamed, automatically he is now given the opportunity to pick a name for himself. He can decide on his own to pick any of those past or loose names to become the second or the third, as the case may be. He can, he can decide to do that. He can also decide to pick a name that is completely new. And that becomes, you won't even call him the first, but he is the first. Yeah. And it becomes, they will now start regarding him as the first if somebody else, sometime after him, pick that same name, that person becomes the, 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 the second, second, while they can now refer to him as the first. But for now, just like Ikenwali, the, uh, the immediate past Olu, in 2015, which was about five years ago, uh, or going to about six years ago now, he picked the one that was unnamed. And he decided to pick, to answer his own name. That Ikenwali was his own personal name given to him by his own father. So that's quite an option also. That's an option. So you can try to pick your name and become uh, the Ikenwali, uh, uh, as, they, as they call him then. So these are the procedures. And there is another significant aspect of that ceremony that is also done during the rites there. You will have the person who is going to swim in there. And the person who is to swim in there is the head of the the head of the uh, Okotomi Ribo family in this town. Okotomi Ribo is the original quarter in Odishekiri. The head of that community, the head of that uh, quarter, is the one that is to swear him in. That's the tradition. It's the, it's the tradition. We swear him in. Having been sworn in, then the chiefs will now gather representing the Ichekiri nation, the entire Ichekiri people. They will now take oath of allegiance before him because he has taken his own oath before the oldest man in Okotomoribu. 
You understand? So the chiefs will now come and now pledge their own allegiance to him that they are not going to fight him. They are not going to be recalcitrant to him. That they are going to work for him. They are going to serve him. They are going to worship him. And at the end of the day, he is going to enjoy his throne till the end when God wants him back. Yes.